It's that first sip of afternoon coffee. You know this one? Yeah. That's when I know I'm gonna make it. All right, quick, quick corner. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome. It's another Cookbook Corner with Chef Andrea. All right, I'm super excited to have you here today. Uh, Cookbook Corner, where I share with you some favorites from my own personal cookbook collection. My cookbook collection at one time was around 1,200 books. And over the years, I have pared it down and pared it down and pared it down to about 400. How's that sound? Pretty fair? Um, and so in Cookbook Corner, I just share with you some of my absolute faves. I wonder if we'll do all 400. One never knows. Today, we are covering... This one's going to take a minute, you guys. we got a lot to talk about. The cookbook that I'm featuring today is the Tucci Cookbook. Stanley Tucci. Look how cute. Look at Stanley Tucci on the cover. Such a crush. Um, Stanley Tucci Cookbook. Here's what's going to have to happen today. I am going to have to find a way to rein this in and make it about this cookbook. Because if we were just going to hang out and talk Stanley Tucci, we're here all day. So keep it together, chef. Keep it together. Cookbook is the focus. Okay. A couple things I want to tell you before we get cracking. Okay. We are going to talk briefly Stanley Tucci movies. The Big Night. Have you seen The Big Night? Please tell me you've seen The Big Night. If you haven't seen The Big Night and you are remotely interested in my YouTube channel and this cookbook corner, then you are interested in food and you are interested in The Big Night. It is a really, uh, it's just, is it maybe one of the first really foodie movies, right? Um, Babette's Feast, The Big Night, I put them both up there. Um, you know, Moonstruck to me is a foodie movie too, but we could talk about that another time. So The Big Night. The premise is two brothers have us really, um, they're trying to provide this sort of very, I'm gonna say almost artisanal um, Italian menu um, at a very small restaurant. And across the street is an Italian restaurant that's doing the like American Italian spaghetti specials. And they can't compete by the way, because. <laughs> That's what everybody's going for. Um, they have a special guest coming for dinner. It is the big night. I'm gonna, not going to give you the whole deal. And they make a huge, they do this huge, you know, 15, 18 course dinner. The pinnacle of which is the timpano. Okay. So if you haven't seen the big night and you want to stop right here, and find the big night and watch the big night and then come back and we'll talk about the Stanley Tucci cookbook. I totally get it. We'll be, we'll be here waiting for you. In the Stanley Tucci cookbook, there are, there is a recipe for a timpano. To me as a home cook, the timpano, what is the timpano? Andrea, tell them about the timpano. The timpano is a handmade pasta dough that is rolled out in a huge sheet and it is set into a drum, uh, enameled tin drum, and it's filled with more pasta and sauce and meatballs and sausage and whole hard cooked eggs and diced salami and diced cheeses. The dough is folded up around it. It's baked in the oven. It's turned out and it's sliced. I'll show it to you in his cookbook. Let me show you this real quick. This is my timpano pan. You know how on camera things can kind of look funny in the background size-wise? I'm gonna give you an idea size-wise. You got it? It's a, this timpano pan, and you can hear it. It's enameled, enameled aluminum, 10. Um, this is what I make my timpano in, and it is almost, it's as wide as I am. It's 
a big daddy. So you put your pasta dough in here, handmade pasta dough you put in here. Fill with more pasta, cheese, meats, yada yada, sauce, fold over, bake, boop, turn it out, conk, serve it. Okay. We'll talk more about that. Timpano. So I was a huge fan of the big night. I don't know where I got my first Timpano recipe, except to say that it might have been from the original book that this book is based off of. Uh, Cucina and uh, Famia. It's very possible that there was a copy of it in that. We used to do an event here at A Chef's Cooking Studio. We opened here in 2007, and I've alluded to the fact in these videos before that where we are is relatively rural. Um, it's building up now, but <laughs> when I opened up out here, there was nothing out here, um, and there were no restaurants. And so while I ran cooking classes here during the day, on weekends, we'd shift gears and turn the kitchen into a chef table restaurant experience. Uh, we did one seating on a Friday night and one seating on a Saturday night. And you came in and we prepared a um, prefix menu. And we had a lot of fun with that. And uh, we had a lot of customers that were with us for just years and years of uh, chef table dinners. So one, and we would theme them out. You know, sometimes we'd do Northern Italy or sometimes we'd do Korea, whatever it was. and. Um, so we decided to do a dinner at the movies where we prepared foods that had we had experienced only through seeing these foods prepared in movies that we loved. And so our highlight of that evening was a timpano. And first of all, we made, I think we ended up making four timpanos because we did a test run of one the week before just to make sure we could even pull the thing off. And then we needed one per night for that course. So we needed one for Saturday night and one for one for Friday night, one for Saturday night. And I, I just know me, you know, in case I lost my mind as I was turning it out and threw it onto the floor, there better be a backup one, right? So we made an extra, <clears throat> excuse me, Friday. And I think we had everything needed for an extra. We might have made five of them, a lot of timpanos. It's the only time I ever did it. It's not like something that I would just do some random Sunday at home. Um, but I, it was really, really fun. Um, and then years go by, life goes on. And I don't know what happened, but I just got this wild hair. I'd actually had, I'm gonna tell you more about this book. I actually had this cookbook. I, at this point, I'd had this current edition I, for a good couple of years and have done a few recipes out of it that I like a lot. It's a beautiful book anyway. And I got a wild hair and decided to do a timpano again. Um, and so read back through, I'm going to call him Stanley. I have a, I'm going to call him Stanley. So I read through Stanley's recipe and, um, worked up a timpano for a customer who was doing a private party here. And he had no idea, but he had been at that dinner at the movies, the dinner at the movie chef table dinner. We also have a customer who at the time was a film and film history professor at UNF here in Northeast Florida. And so um, we had Ken come in the night that we nights that we did the dinner at the movies, and um, he would actually play a clip from the movie that the next course had uh, inspired, and he would do a little film history discussion. It was a hoot. We had so much fun. Um, what was I trying to tell you? I don't know. Anyway, oh Jim had been at the at this. Um, that particular dinner. And we all remember that one as one of the like top 10 of the chef table dinners that we did over the course of 10 years. It was one of everybody's favorites. And um, so he was doing a private party here, just a, you know, a holiday party for his staff. And I decided to put him together a timpano unbeknownst to him. It was really fun. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. So, um, so timpano, the big night, um, Stanley Tucci. We're going to stop talk about Stanley Tucci cookbook, not Stanley Tucci the actor. But first, I have to get real quick through Stanley Tucci the actor part. Okay, it goes like this. Stanley Tucci and Meryl Streep. When those two are together. I mean, it's um, what happens in my world. It's like um, the the Worlds collide in a way that stops time. Everything just freezes and they have me. 
So what I want to tell you about my house is that it's really small. But what's big in my house are the TVs. So my husband is a football fanatic. So we have gargantuan TVs. And we don't just have gargantuan TVs. He put one in every room of our tiny house. So there's a gargantuan TV in the living room. There's a gargantuan TV in the bedroom. I have a, like a ladies lounge where I do all my knitting in the back. It would have been a guest room if we were that accommodating, <laughs> but I took it over. I mean, the TV back there is gargantuan. We have a huge TV in the den. They're just everywhere. He's a football fan, it's what he likes. The TVs in my house are so big that what you need to know is that if you are standing like in the living room and the TV is on, the characters on the TV, like they're the same size as you. <laughs> so I like to have the TV on in the background when I'm vacuuming, cleaning house, whatever I'm doing. Uh, and sometimes I'll just put something on repeat like Outlander, I'm a huge fan. So I, it, one season of Outlander will just run all afternoon when I'm cleaning. Here's how it goes with Stanley Tucci. And then, God help me, if they throw a Meryl Streep in at the same time. So I noticed that my left arm hurts. And I look down and realize that the reason my left arm hurts is because in my left hand is a huge bag of garbage. And see, what has happened is that I grabbed the garbage from the kitchen and went to go empty all the waste baskets around the house. But my gargantuan living room TV was on Devil Wears Prada. And as I walked by, you see what happens? The Stanley Tucci, Meryl Streep, worlds collide and stop time for me thing happened. And so now it's been 43 minutes that I've been standing staring at this TV holding this huge bag of trash. All right, I'm not here to talk about Stanley Tucci movies. I'm here to talk about the cookbook, the effect that he has on me. Okay, um, the cookbook, he says on the cover of this that this is based, the recipes in this book are based on the previously published Cucina and Famia. That's pretty good Italian, isn't it, Famia? I mean, I can really watch, that's probably totally wrong. Oh, well, um, I... I like to think that I speak Italian because it's so fun to say Italian things. Um, you know, like when you speak French, you know how the French pronounce nothing? Everything is cut off and softened. The Italians pronounce everything. What's that area, Judy, that you taught me? Trastevere. Oh my gosh, when she showed me how to pronounce Trastevere, uh, I was going to Rome and she showed me how to pronounce that little area. Ah, trust every. I, now I just say it all the time. I love it. Um, so I, I like to think that I speak Italian. Um, like here's here's something I'll catch my. C'è un bicicletta. C'è un bicicletta. How about that? Hmm? Now here's the problem. I think that I may have just called myself a bicycle. I th what I'd like to think is I said there is a bicycle, but I might have just said I'm a bicycle. I don't speak Italian. That's not, I don't speak Italian at all. The copyright on the original was 1999. The copyright on the one in my hand is 2012. Um, let's go to some flagged pages here so you can see a little bit what's going on in this book. And I will not pretend like I speak Italian. Bicicletta, Trastevere. Okay, preface by Stanley Tucci. Throughout my childhood, almost every night, in the middle of dinner, my father would shake his head and ask, what does the rest of the world eat? That is how good my mother's cooking has always been. To my dad, it was inconceivable that anyone could possibly eat as well as we did, and I agreed with him every time. This book is about family recipes. This is definitely one of those cookbooks that I'm gonna recommend to you that you could choose to just read cover to cover. Um, if you're not a big cook, but you're a St Stanley Tucci fan, if you're not a big cook, but you are an avid reader, you're going to love this book. The writing in it is so engaging. Um, oh, I don't, you don't need to see a picture of the preface. Let's show you a picture of something in here lovely. Look, oh my gosh. Look how cool. Oh my gosh. Look at this picture. Here's Stanley Tucci at his brick oven. Isn't he the cutest? Look at him smiling. Look at that brick oven. I want to build a brick oven. It's so not to code in my neighborhood. 
I'll have to move. Ah, oh, he's so cute. Okay, enough crushing, girl. Talk about the book, talk about the book, talk about the book. Photos in this book. I love a cookbook with really nice photographs. Um, I'm down with cookbooks that don't have them when they're super well written or very formulaic. If there's something about them um, that I'm trying to learn a technique and I just need the written word, man, cookbooks with great photos, right? So here's a beautiful photo. I'll give you an example. It's not pretty. Just figs and prosciutto. Oh, sorry, I hit that mic. Just figs and prosciutto. Beautiful. Um, let's talk about some recipes real quick. Okay. Oh, shoot. This is going to take me back to the movies. Okay, hold on. Let me talk about a recipe that doesn't talk about movies. Uh, I'm going to show you the timpano in a minute. Look, I have done this recipe so many times I broke the spine on the jacket. So it's string beans with tomatoes. What? What did she just say? String beans with tomatoes, really? Really. The thing about the recipes in this book is that they are the foods you want to eat for dinner. Um, these are the foods that um, you want to have for Sunday supper when you're going to have a lot of people over at four o'clock in the afternoon and start grazing. These are the foods that, um, if we're all really honest, this is the stuff that we really enjoy eating. Um, it is not overly done. Um, nothing pretentious here. These are just classic, simple flavors. And this beautiful string beans with tomatoes. I feel like he also had a basic just string bean salad. I may have stolen that from him off the internet or something one time and just loved it. But very family oriented. And what I mean by that is the flavors are just power packed, delicious. Everyone's going to love them. There'll be something for everyone in here. Um, and you know, the way that the Italians just do such a great job with that famia sort of thing, right? Um, just a big comfy setting. Everybody gets stuffed. Let's talk about eggs. Okay. He has a section in here on eggs and his little preface to his egg section. I'll let you read. It's really lovely. He refers back to the big night. Um, and the reason I want to mention this is because of all the food that shows up in the big night and I mean, that's all it is, right? It's a huge foodie movie. It's about two different competing restaurants. Well, not really competing. It's just food, food, food. There is a scene where Stanley Tucci um, fries up eggs for himself and his brother and their um, employee. I mean, he's like an, an everything kind of guy, waiter, dishwasher, everything. Um, and they shot it, as best I can tell, in real time with Stanley just there, Stanley, we're close, with uh, Stanley Tucci there with a frying pan and he puts olive oil in the pan and cracks in the egg. And do you know that since that moment in time, I cook all of my eggs in olive oil? That may not seem like groundbreaking to you, <laughs> but in Georgia, you cook your eggs in butter. Or, uh, you know, here's the worst part. You wanna know what I used to cook all eggs in, really? Pam or nonstick spray. Um, you know, I was a 20 something in the 90s and we were always low cal, low cal, low cal everything. Ugh, nonstick spray. That's what I was cooking my eggs in for years. Stanley Tucci fixed that. I cook my eggs in olive oil. All right, that's enough about the egg section. You'll read that. Here's where I want you to go. We got to talk about the tempano because this is going to go on forever. On my website, achefs.com, I have a version of a tempano. Um, we make a lot of pasta here at the studio, and so I have my version of our food processor pasta dough um, that we've been teaching here, you know, for years and years and years. I have our, I either have our marinara or bolognese, but it's our house sauce. I'm not going to put, you know, somebody else's recipe on my website. Uh, so the building of the tempano was 100% taught to me through that movie and Stanley Tucci's cookbook. And when I you know, want to have some fun and make an amazing tempano. I do the Tucci version with the Tucci ragu sauce. I follow his to the letter um, because his is slightly different than mine. Um, but on my website, you can find a photo of me and my tempano. And there's a recipe there that um, is usable. Uh, and I hope you'll enjoy it. But I also hope that you will give the Stanley Tucci tempano a try. So here's photos from the book of Stanley Tucci making his tempano. So you can see it's quite a process here. 
And the recipe is one of those recipes that requires a lot of prep because you're gonna need to cook meatballs, you're gonna need to prep up all the salami, you're gonna need to prep up all the cheese, you're gonna need to cook up ziti, you're gonna need to make the pasta dough, you're gonna need to make the uh, ragu sauce, you got me? Like lots of moving parts here. But you can do those casually over the course of a day and a half or so and then do the big assembly. And honey, it is so worth it. Look at this thing in the end. This is how it comes out. This is what you've been dying to see. Now, what I want you to remember about that is like you might see that and think, what is that? Is that the size of a birthday cake? No. It is huge. I think mine had three pounds of pasta in it. Have you ever cooked a pound of, of ziti? I mean, <laughs> it's a lot of pasta when it's all said and done. So don't forget my big drum up here. It is as wide as me, right? So if you look on my website, you'll see that picture of me holding that giant timpano. It'll give you a better visual. So yeah, like a slice of it is like, I don't know, nine inches tall and five inches deep. And then have extra sauce because you want to serve extra sauce on the side. Timpano a la Big Night. Uh, risotto is in here. If you're a Big Night fan, risotto just means something to you. Or shrimps. Okay. A um, couple things I want to mention to you. Stanley Tucci and Meryl Streep in movies together. So I casually threw out there. Devil Wears Prada. I'm going to throw this one out here less casually. Julie and Julia. So Julie and Julia, if you haven't seen it immediately, 100%, just get it and Big Night together and just have yourself a good time. Um, Julie and Julia is based on two books. So one book is called Julie and Julia. And that book was um, a woman in New York decides to cook every recipe in Mastering the Art of French Cooking by Julia Child, and she does a blog about it. And her blog was picked up by publishers, and they got a book out called Julie and Julia. So also, read that book, because it's so entertaining. The woman who wrote it is hysterical. She's really, really fun. Another book that um, I'm pretty sure was My Life in France by Julia Child, or in part by Julia Child, maybe written uh, based on memories that Julia Child shared. But the My Life in France, Julia Child, is honestly about her and Paul Child, her husband, and their relationship when they were in France together. And that book is really lovely in its own right. And what the movie makers did was they brought the two books together. So you have the Julie and Julia side, and Amy Adams is um, Julie in that. And then you have the uh, My Life in France side, and these two stories play off of each other throughout the whole movie. But I sound like a film critic over here. Maybe I speak Italian and film critic language. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to tell you that Stanley Tucci is Paul Child. I'm, I'm going to take a sip of tea. I'm drinking tea today, not coffee. It's too early for afternoon coffee. I'm in that in-between zone. Morning coffee's done. It's not late enough for afternoon coffee. Oh, Stanley Tucci as Paul Child. The closing scene of that movie, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Drop the garbage bag and bust into tears. That's all I can tell you drop the bag of garbage in the middle of the living room and bust into tears. It is so precious. Stanley Tucci, Meryl Streep. Did I talk enough about the cookbook? Try the cookbook. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to mention too. We're talking cookbooks. We're not talking movies. We're talking cookbooks. We're not talking TV shows. Um, look at the mussels on the fish and shellfish page. Go home and make those right now. Oh my gosh, aren't they gorgeous? Um, Stanley Tucci has a show on, I'm feeling very positive, it's CNN, kind of a cooking, sort of cooking travel show. Here's the thing, I've DVR'd it and I'll tell you why. Do you know that the weekend that dang show launched, I started this super hardcore macro-based diet? And all I can tell you is, that I knew for a fact that what I could not do while I was in the beginning stages of that diet was watch an hour of Stanley Tucci eating buttery pasta 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I w- that, it wasn't going to happen. So I set them all for DVR and just figured, you know what, we'll just binge it out one day. So I'll get there. Um, I have heard from friends who who are also Stanley Tucci fans that the show's excellent. So I hope you guys will check that out. But the Stanley Tucci cookbook, Family Italian Recipes. And I will tell you that I have a lot of Italian cookbooks in this 400 book collection. I think that I cook out of the Stanley Tucci one more than any other. It's just so um, user friendly and appealing. Very, It's that weird thing that great cooks know how to do, which is take three things and just make them gorgeous. You know what I mean? Like there's just this simplicity behind all of it. And it's I'm always so happy with everything that I make. I told you I have a, a rating that I do. I never even put a rating in any recipe in this book. They've all been excellent. What would, what would I write on it for? They're excellent. He's excellent. Stanley Tucci. The Stanley Tucci cookbook. Let's look at him one more time together. Look at that smile. Is he the cutest ever? Oh my gosh. All right, guys. That's Cookbook Corner today. Stanley Tucci cookbook. Try a timpano. If you make a timpano, you darn well better post that thing down here and let me see your action. You can check out my website, achefs.com, for my version. But I hope you'll try Stanley's version as well. By the way, you guys, he does have a vegetarian one in here also. So don't let the fact that I mentioned 14 pounds of meat going into mine make you think this is not something that you guys can do if you're going vegetarian. There is a vegetable version as well. So um, there you go. Stanley Tucci. We love you. We love your cookbook. I hope you guys will give it a shot. Uh, That's Cookbook Corner for today. Um, We'll look forward to next time. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I hope you're having a delicious day. See you soon. Bye.